I've been looking further into this PC, which is actually a phone, or at least mostly a phone. I did a teardown video a few months ago, and I found the top slide section is an ARM CPU based phone running a modified version of Symbian, while the lower section with the keyboard and the trackball runs Windows 7. With the phone's display and touchscreen switching over to become part of the Windows 7 interface. This video is about the switchover when the BIOS appears and shows that pressing F12 will bring up a boot menu. That means I should be able to choose just about any other operating system to run on this PC. Within reason, of course. Now, I'm not going to run Windows XP. It sounds like a good idea, but just don't ask. I'm going to run Microsoft's first operating system, MS-DOS. Okay, there's the boot menu, and I can choose between the internal flash memory or the USB flash that I've just plugged in. And there is another menu, if I press tab, I'll go to the application menu which just has an option for recovery and utility. So I'll have a quick look at that. And what the recovery and utility option does is it loads Windows and then it loads the utility program, which you can use to reformat and reinstall Windows 7 from the recovery partition on the internal drive. There's a quick shot of the Windows-based recovery utility, but let's get back to the boot menu. Okay, I've got DOS installed on this USB stick ready to go. Switch over to USB boot and enter. And there we go. Running here I've got DOS 7.1. This is the version that comes with Windows 98. As you can see this phone uses a rotated display and it's all very stretched out and sideways. I do also have Windows 98 on this USB stick as well. But 98 is known to be very difficult to start on a modern PC with lots of memory, such as this phone. In this case, Windows 98 freezes during the boot process. But this video is about 16-bit real mode MS-DOS. It exclusively runs 16-bit mode software, and it's limited to just one megabyte of RAM. All x86 CPUs to this day still start up in real mode when powering up until a modern operating system takes over. So I'm not going to see if I can start Windows 98 on this. The only way to exit this is to take the battery out of the phone and restart the whole thing. Okay, I'm back at the boot menu and I've got a USB keyboard here that I'm going to use to make using DOS a little bit easier. Okay, we'll start DOS. So we don't want safe mode, we want normal mode. Now there we go. Why isn't that working? Okay, this keyboard switched to numlock, so I've got to switch that off. There we go. DOS has some awesome utilities. First one I'm going to check out is Check It. Okay, let's have a quick look at the system, uh, the configuration. So something I want to test is the video. Let's have a look at that. Run all tests. It's certainly blinking pretty fast. The phone's handling all the video modes fairly well even though it's stretched. Okay, well let's check it. One other utility I found recently is called NSSI. Alright. NSSI is pretty cool software, though it is seeing the CPU as a Celeron, but it's actually an Atom, though it sees the model number as Z600, which is correct and 600 megahertz and real mode and that's all correct that's pretty good it sees the BIOS is an award BIOS from 2011 also correct total memory is one megabyte sounds good all right so it's picked up that it is a Fujitsu F-07C which is good 
So it's actually doing a pretty good job of identifying everything. Let's have a closer look at that processor. So the CPU can run up to 1.2 gigahertz, but it's currently running at 600 megahertz. Yep. So I'm really quite impressed with this utility. This is uh, very handy stuff. But now I think it's time for something more fun. How about Doom? Now remember, this is not a Doom port, nor is it being emulated. This is OG Doom running bare metal with DOS. Bare metal means that software is running exclusively and directly on the hardware itself. So apart from the rotation issue, I am also having trouble with this USB keyboard not working properly with Doom, even though it works with MS-DOS, making it not particularly playable at this stage. On a side note, as I was looking around for things people had done with this phone, I found this interesting channel. In one of their videos, they show this Fujitsu phone booting another OS. But looking closely, I see the phone has a different BIOS. Their BIOS runs horizontally in landscape mode and starts OS's in landscape. There's also a Fujitsu logo and an Intel logo, whereas every other BIOS, including mine, is vertical with no logos. I had a look around for it, but I could only find mentions on Japanese and Russian forums. I think this is probably an original BIOS from Fujitsu, before the carrier network started selling these phones in Japan. But that's made me wonder if it's possible to mod the BIOS to rotate the screen. Seems kind of risky though. I think there's a good chance I would brick this if I tried. Anyway, all this talk of rotation reminded me of an LGR video recently about the Radius Pivot Monitor, which could rotate DOS, and any software designed to rotate with it. Unfortunately, Doom was not designed to rotate. So when LGR mentioned that he'd like to try a rotated version of Doom, someone made one, and it's called Tomb by Big Evil Corporation. Just your normal version of Doom here. It's of course not meant to run vertically. So if you are trying to do that on a monitor like this, typically <laughs> Doom doesn't know what to do with it. Now we have Tomb. Yeah, this is a version of Doom that works on DOS PCs, emulators too, of course, but meant to work on original hardware in Tate mode, which of course is a Japanese term for vertical, common with a lot of arcade games, especially shooters. But uh, yeah, now it's available on portrait mode monitors for your DOS PC. So I downloaded a copy of Tomb and put it on this phone PEC. And when I run it, it does indeed rotate but counterclockwise instead of clockwise. So it ends up upside down on this. I can though put the phone upside down. So here we have portrait based tomb running on this stretched out screen, producing a wide landscape aspect ratio <laughs> version of doom. Okay, this is all getting a bit crazy. I'm gonna try something else now. For various reasons, there is a lot of DOS software that doesn't run properly, or at all sometimes. Something I like to do is to push the limits, and scene demos are a really good way to do that. Many DOS scene demos do struggle to run on this PC. One good demo that I found works flawlessly is Sleepless by Smash Designs. I do want to go further with this phone in the future, maybe try another operating system. Thanks for watching and liking and all that stuff. And if you would like to support the channel even further, consider sharing this video. Thanks to my patrons. See you next time.